Welcome to Electron Line. Here we're going to show you an example when we toss three coins and we're trying to find the probability of getting a certain number of heads. The possibilities are that you'll have zero heads, one head, two heads, or three heads because we're flipping three coins. You will find that when we have more than two coins, three coins, four coins, five coins, or maybe when we start looking at the the, the variances when we're dealing with multiple choice tests and things like that where there's lots of different possibilities that things can get quite complicated and because of that we're going to have a different technique to figure out the probability of things so you'll see what that looks like and we'll get to that new methodology later but first I want to show you that the complexity begins to increase as we have more than two coins or more than two of anything all right so let's say we have three coins we're going to put down whether or not we have tails or heads, the total number of heads, the probability of that combination, and then notice we'll then have what we call a table for our variance, not, not variances, for our probability distribution. All right, so let's say we start out and every one of the coins has a tail. That means there's zero heads and the probability of this occurring is one out of eight. So we can have the following, we have tails, tails, and heads, that means we have one head, and that probability will be one out of eight. Or we could have tails, heads, tails, one head, one eighth of a possibility or probability, and then we have tails, heads, and heads. Now there are two heads, and again, that combination has one eighth probability of occurring. Moving on, let's call this a head. Then we have tails and tails. Now we have one head. There's one eighth of a probability of that combination. We have heads, tails, heads. We have two heads. Again, one eighth probability. Now we have heads, heads, and tails. Two tails, one eighth probability. And finally, we have heads, heads, and heads. Three heads, one eighth probability. So those are all the various combinations that we can have. Notice there's only one out of eight where we can have all three tails or zero heads, so the total probability of zero heads is one out of eight. But when it comes to one head, notice we have one head here, one head there, and one head there. There's three possibilities of different combinations that all give us one head. Each of them has a probability of one eight, so when we add them together, that means three eighths probability that we end up with one head. Two heads, again we have one combination here, one combination here, one combination there. There's three combinations where we get three, uh, two heads. Each of those combinations has one eighth probability, so the three combined give us a three eighths probability. And finally, there's only one way in which we could get all three heads. There's one eighth probability for that, so we put one eighth here. And now let's see if we have a proper probability distribution. We have to have two rules or two properties. The first property is that all of these probability values are not less than zero, not more than one, and that satisfies. And then when we add them all up, one plus three plus three plus one is equal to eight over eight, which is equal to one. All the probabilities added together should always add up to one. In this case, it does. So it looks like we do have a proper distribution. Notice for us to come up with these proper pro probability values here, we kind of had to lay out the table. And we have to count them all up, and it gets quite complicated. What if we had four coins, or five coins, or six coins, or 36 coins? How are we going to do that? How are we going to come up with a probability distribution? Then, of course, we need to have a different method than setting up a table like that because you can sit there with a very big piece of paper for a very long time to try and figure it out. So there must be a better streamlined method to do that and sure enough there is one. So if you stay tuned we'll get to that new method and show you how to go about doing that when we have more complicated examples, complicated layouts of coming up with a probability distribution. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to do that. Is that a cliffhanger? <laughs> Watch it or you can't sleep at night. <laughs>